Since it's the year 2020, it's pretty much the norm that every website and app has the option to enable a dark mode skin that changes brighter colors to darker colors in order to be more appealing to the eye, especially at nighttime. The other day while scrolling through Runelite's plugins, I happened to come across a dark mode skin for old school RuneScape, along with other cool skins that were available completely free. Well, you've already clicked on this video because of the title, so let me jump right into how you can enable these skin overlays. First things first, if you're not already using Runelite, what are you doing? Head over to their site and download it ASAP. It's 100% free and it's super secure and tons of other players are using it. Assuming you've already downloaded Runelite, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the wrench icon that's located at the top right of your Runelite window. Once you're there, scroll all the way down to the bottom and click on the plugin hub button. After that, go to the search bar and type the word resource. And then what you're going to want to do is hit that install button. It says remove for me, but that's because I already have it downloaded, but yours would look like this. But hit the install button under resource packs. Now that it's installed, let me show you the skin overlay options you can choose from. In order to check them out, click on the little question mark logo that's right next to the install button. What it's going to do is open up a page on your internet browser. And what you need to do is scroll down the page and choose your favorite style of overlay. The one that I used in the beginning of this video is called OSRS Gray Theme. And that is located more towards the bottom right here. But for this video, I'm going to be installing the Wood Cabin Resource Pack. Once you've found your favorite, click download, and then you're going to want to save the file. Okay, now that you have saved the file, you are going to see your resource pack in a .zip file. What you're going to need to do is right click that file and then go to extract all or extract here depending. It doesn't really matter which one you want to do, but just extract the files. So now that your file has extracted, click on the extracted file and then click on it again until you see these options here. And then what you're going to want to do is click on the little folder icon up at the top that will show your file's location. This is mine. What you need to do is copy that location. Now that you're done with that, you're going to want to head back to Runelite. Now that you're back on Runelite, go back to your resource packs plugin and click the little gear icon next to the remove button. And then paste your copied text into any of these resource pack paths. I already have two packs installed. So for this video, I'm going to be using pack path three. Now paste your file. I can't right click. You guys might also not be able to right click to paste. So you need to use your keyboard shortcuts, which in this case would be holding down the control button and then pressing the V key on your keyboard and that will paste it in. Just select which resource pack you used from the drop down menu. As I said, mine for this video is in the third pack path. So I am going to choose third. And then if it doesn't still work for you, you might need to just turn on and off your resource pack up here. Just click it a couple times. And here you go. You are now 100% done. Um, I don't really like this one that much, to be honest. I thought I'd like it a little more. So I am going to go back to gray. I like this one a lot. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to drop a like below and subscribe to see more old school RuneScape content. Also, be sure to tell me your favorite resource pack design in the comments down below. But that about sums it up, so I'll see you guys in the next one.